The rest of you, get out of here. You know your trials. You too, Fon. Spindrel awaits. Now, listen to me. Spindrel is a lunatic. His approval means nothing. You are filth, and you will die. Is that clear? As an unmudded lake. Good. Now, your second trial. Lord Zash has requested a special trial for you, which you will no doubt fail. Go to Inquisitor Zinn in the jails. He will fill you in on the details, and most likely hasten your demise. I'll be there in but a moment. I don't want to see you again until you're back from the jails. That's all. Acolyte, you've arrived. And not a moment too soon. Harkon has given me very specific instructions. You were raised as a slave, but must discard those traits and learn to control others. And I have just the task for that end. Meet this driveling excuse for an acolyte. He will be your victim. What exactly does this entail? A short while ago, there was what we call an unauthorized murder here in the Academy. A rivalry among apprentices resulted in death. Interrogate him. Make him tell you who committed this crime at any cost. I can absolutely do that. Excellent. Get to it then. I look forward to watching you work. <laughs> Please, don't hurt me. I don't know anything. It's all right, Aleph. I just want to talk. Yeah, right. I know what you want, and I'll tell you right now, I don't know anything. I can't help you if you won't trust me. Why should I trust you? You can't help me. You can't protect me. Even if I did know something, I'd be dead. Or worse. Look, if you don't want to talk to me, the Inquisitor will bring someone else in and they will make you talk. I want to help you. What? Why? I, I don't understand. Why don't you just torture me and get it over with? There are better methods than torture. They really did pull you out of the slave pens like the Inquisitor said, didn't they? You aren't like any Sith I've ever met. I'll tell you what I saw, but promise me that the murderer will get justice, that he won't come to kill me. I'll do everything in my power. As strange as it sounds coming from another acolyte, I appreciate that. An apprentice named Esor Kayan. I saw him murder his victim outside the library on the second floor. Listen, his master's incredibly powerful. He won't let Kayan be punished. Kayan will kill me. You let me worry about that. Thank you. I hope you know what you're doing. Don't have to tell me I heard the name loud and clear, though I sorely wish I hadn't. Yes or Cain? Cain's master is a dark council member. I'd be a fool to oppose him. But anyway, your trial here is done. I will send my commendations to Overseer Harkon. You may return to him now. That acolyte is going to need protection. Concern for matters that are not your business is a weakness that will get you killed. I suggest you eliminate this undesirable trait as quickly as possible and forget about this acolyte. You have to protect him. He doesn't stand a chance without your help. You are persistent, aren't you? Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to keep him here while the master of the murdered apprentice pursues justice. Perhaps they can be made to believe that the Acolyte hasn't been broken yet. I don't care what you do. Just do it. Fair enough. I'll requisition some guards to protect him. You have a most unusual approach, Acolyte. Watch it doesn't get you into trouble. Oh, well, well. I had been looking forward to cutting another one of you down, but it looks like I'll be spared the trouble. Unsurprisingly, Nylock has gone missing. Also, unsurprisingly, Fon has passed his first trial. It's only a matter of time before he tramples you all underfoot. I'll tear you apart where you stand, slave. Patience, Fon. An accident in the tombs is much more convincing. Now the lot of you know your next task. Go. I want to speak to Fon and our latecomer. Now, slave, 
Zin says you handled yourself expertly, and as much as I find this difficult to believe, Lord Zash is satisfied with his evaluation. Undoubtedly, Zin helped you in some way, but you will not have his help on the next trial. Both you and Fon will have trials of intellect, trials that test your ability to apply your understanding of the Force to solve problems. You don't expect a slave to be a match for me in intellect. I've been trained under the greatest teachers. Calm down, Fon. I certainly do not expect this slave to be a match for you. That's why you will have separate trials. It's okay. I can handle anything Fawn can handle. You're only digging your own grave. Fawn, you will go to the library on the second floor of the Academy and translate the following texts for Lord Zash. Yes, Overseer. Slave, deep in the ancient, monster-infested tomb of Marka Ragnos, there is a holocron filled with dark secrets and encased in a great stone monument. No one has figured out how to release the holocron from its stone prison in over a thousand years. You will bring this holocron to me, or you will die. A simple errand. Need anything else in the tomb while I'm down there? You will bring back the Holocron, or hope that the spirit of Marka Ragnos himself returns to end your miserable existence. Now go. Stand and account for yourself, Acolyte. Let's see what you're made of. I look at you, and I wonder, are you among the truly loyal, or do you hide treason in your heart? Do you always make a habit of accusing strangers of treachery and sedition? You are no stranger to me. I know everyone in this academy, even its former slaves. Intelligence reports indicate this valley shelters traitors. Acolytes who seek to destroy our Emperor's carefully built order and replace it with their own weak-minded heresies. They hide among the faithful and obedient. But make no mistake, they will destroy us all, given the chance. We've watched as the traitors scuttle about this valley and plot against us. We know their faces and their names. It is the Emperor's will that the sands of Korriban be slaked with the blood of these traitors. Prove your allegiance by executing them. It will be a great honor to serve you, my lord. And in serving me, you serve the Emperor. Remember that as you exterminate those vermin in the valley. I'll give you the means to identify the traitors. Eliminate enough of them to prove your loyalty, then return to Inquisitor Arzanen. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. Go now. See that the Emperor's will be done. Did you deal with those traitors? Well done. That was an impressive display of loyalty. Take this reward as a token of the Emperor's favor, and wear this badge. It marks you as a defender of our Empire. Stay vigilant. Our enemies lurk where you least expect them. Fresh, young acolyte, come to view my experiments. Good. I trust the sight of a messy operating table doesn't disturb you? What's happening here? Understanding the Force's mysteries requires that we seek answers everywhere, even inside a beast itself. This used to be a Tukata, the hound-like creatures infesting Korriban's tombs. On the surface, nothing special. But... I alone can see this creature is an expression of pure, dark side energy. Aggression made manifest. Amazing. How did you learn that? The Force told me so. It speaks to me. The Force is alive. It expresses its will in the physical world. This Tukata was one such form. Are we another of these forms? Sith are the highest manifestation of the Force's will. I've dissected hundreds of Tukata, forging a direct connection to the dark side. Each beast I examine advances me toward perfect unity. I now stand at a new frontier, but find myself thwarted. My most perfect specimen, a Tukata mutant, escaped to the tombs before I could analyze it. Perhaps I could help you recover your specimen. Yes, I was hoping as much. My apprentice, Malora, saw which tomb the mutant beast fled into. Find out what she knows, assist me and you will be rewarded. I'll speak with Malora, and do whatever is necessary, my lord. You found a great calling in my service. I trust you appreciate that. Seeking Lord Renning's lost pet, are you? <laughs> Don't waste your time. 
That fool's research is pointless. How did you discover this? My mom.